うまい。
You got stutters again. It's not yet. A new seal. Got the stutters. Yeah. Too much stuttering. Excuse me, sorry. Howdy, Eleanor. Oh, hi there. How are you? I'm doing all right, and yourself? Doing okay? That's good. Mm-hmm. Is anybody else in town with you, or just just you? Uh, no, just me. I just woke up. Oh, good morning. Good morning. <laughs> oh shoot, I forgot to meant to telegram right back. How about you? I uh, no, I also just got up. I I was slept in um, uh, Blackwater. Oh, uh, I see. Mhm. Mm I was hoping to meet up with a friend today, but I have not been getting telegrams back. Oh no. I'm sorry. Well, that's all right. They are probably very busy. Mm, could they be at that event that was about, that started forty five minutes ago? Uh, which one? Uh, There's the an white stakes. Mm -hmm. oh. It's in the paper. Well, let me just go get paper and see what that's all about. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Lucille. I think that was Lucille. I hope it was. Newspaper. Oops, sorry, excuse me. Is that Clay? Is that Clay? Nope, 
definitely not play at all. <laughs> the event. You all right? Yeah, I just I was just taking forever to recognize you because really? of your long hair. Was your hair always that long? Mm. I, I, I grew it out I when I uh. Well, went to talk. I washed it. Well, I washed it, brushed oh. it. Oh, it looks nice. It, it was already it was already pretty long. I see. To be honest. But yeah, I grew it out a bit more. I haven't really gotten a haircut. Uh huh. How do you do? I hear a clay. I heard it. Nonsense. That's not what you hear. <gasps> do I hear a ghost then? Ooh. <laughs> oh, oh, one of our rangers. Uh oh. He's afraid of ghosts. Mm. Oh boy. How have you two been? I don't know. Yeah, I'm pretty good. How about you? I'm better now. What a key. Figuring things out still, but... No. Such is life. Mm. Howdy. So there's a... wait. Hmm. Reading something good? Yeah, Blanchard is telling me about this uh, horse race in Braithwaite. Oh. Mm-hmm. Because uh, I was hoping to meet up with a friend, but I haven't received any telegrams back. I'm sorry to hear that. I oh, hope that's right. Eventually, you hear from them. Yeah, me too. How are you? I'm doing all right. I mean, for the most part. That's good. Did you have that hunting trip yet, or is that uh, to to be gone on? Um, it's definitely still going to happen. Uh, probably this weekend. Oh, okay. Planning on going up to Roanoke and hunt cougars. All right. Sounds fun. Hunt cougars. What'd you say, Blanche? You're going to hunt cougars? Yep. I see. They're good money. Oh, there's not a way. I just thought they were bad for your pocketbooks because of how much <laughs> you have to deal with medical supplies around them. Oh, well, uh, make sure you shoot first before they get you. <laughs> I, know, I was just tasing. Uh, you just missed Tess. I think she just went to bed. Oh, oh I just telegrammed her, too. Oh, it's tough. Well, I was really just waking up to make an outfit, so. Hello again, Cayenne. It's been so long. <laughs> Something it. smelled off. Uh, oh. oh, do I smell? Well, I'm gonna go to Blackwater and go make it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, take care, Blanche. Okay, I'll give a shh. I hope your friend uh, follows back up. Now, I just wanted to say hello, tease yeah. a little bit. 
it was, it was wonderful seeing you. I'll see you again in another eight years. Mm, maybe. <laughs> Well, you said you're you're waiting for a friend, Chipmunk. Uh, yeah, or hoping to at least. No, that sounds good. I'll leave you two with them. I just came here to check telegrams, and I have none. So. All right. You, you travel safe. Okay. Take care. Take care. Hmm, what to do, what to do. Is that Blanche again? No, not Blanche. That's not Elias, is it? Um, where did I hit you? We're still up here.
Ah, oh, it's a ring. Excuse me. Clover, hello. I love you too. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, I'm doing well too. I was hoping to meet up with Tibbet today, but... I'm not sure if uh, Yek is on, because we haven't received a telegram response. Your character's outfits are always so iconic. <laughs> well, the white hat, you have to thank Clay for that. And then the poncho, I just chose something that went with orange. I was hoping she'd have more of an orange theme, but it turns it's turning out to be more orange-brown. <laughs> no one here either oh no oh no nobody's here oh wait no there's a fire oh sammy sammy's here and who was behind the wagon went behind the wagon
Boo. <laughs> Hello. I was well? wondering who was hiding behind this wagon. How are you doing? She is a master of stealth. <laughs> yeah, you snuck behind the wagon before I could catch a glimpse of you. How are you, Sammy? I'm okay. You just missed everyone else. They're heading no. to the water. Oh, no. Okay. No, as that's soon fine. As, as soon as they rode out, <laughs> you came riding in. <laughs> yeah, story of my life. That's okay. <laughs> yeah. I think I think Blanche is there, too, trying on a new outfit, so uh, maybe they'll run into her. Wait, who? Uh, Blanche. I ran into her oh. in Strawberry. Yeah. Oh, Was Clay... Yeah. Did Clay come here and then go with them? Yes. Okay. Alrighty. Uh, did they say for what? Uh, no, I forgot to ask. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they just said they're right. heading to Strawberry. I went, okay! <laughs> oh, man, I just missed them then. Yeah, I mean, they'll come back. Yeah, that's okay. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm alright. I was hoping to meet up with uh, a friend today, but I haven't gotten any telegrams back, so I just told them I'd be here if they still want to hang out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That, that hat looks good on you, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> I think I think the hat is might be a, a little big because it's going over. It's I. It's a little hard to see. Oh, is it? <laughs> it, it yeah, it's a little. But I I I I am set with it. I like it. Yeah, you've got a nice rim on it too. Yes. It's like it's like blue and gray. Mhm. Mm oh wait, maybe that's a band. Is that called a band or a rim? I don't know. Blanche would know, but she's not here. She's not? <laughs> she did help me pick out the hat. Oh, that's nice. Mm -hmm. Blanche, uh, Ruby, and Crosby helped me pick out the hat. Very nice. I can't wait to see Stan's. Oh, yeah. Did you hear about what happened to you yesterday? Uh, Sammy, I was, I was there. Oh, yeah, you were there. Uh -huh. That's right. Sorry, was there was a lot of the rest of the wolves. There. While everybody yeah. was checking on the horse. Yeah, there was a lot of... Yeah. Uh, I feel so bad for him. Yeah. Has he gotten a new one yet, or we don't know? I... 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 I rem the last thing I remember, he rode out of here with a wild horse that he found, and I haven't seen him since. I sent him a telegram okay. checking in on him, but I haven't had any response. Okay. I imagine he's upset. Yeah. He didn't look very happy. No. So what are we up to here? Uh, I don't know. They, they, <laughs> ju they, they just left and then you showed up, so we're talking to you. I see. <laughs> uh, I did get your telegram, by the way. Um, mm -hmm. And... Uh, were were you just letting me know, or because yeah, usually just, yeah okay no yeah right. I just just I I just sent a telegram around it's like hey there's an order in about like some produce stuff and then uh I you know I'll prob I'll, I I'll I don't know I'll probably like I don't know how it works do, do does Ruby do you like the final delivery or do I go around and like hey like you know that's that's a good question my understanding is. Uh, at least before Ruby took all the orders, and then we gave everything to Ruby. Um, but now that Clay is the day manager, then I think either one, but I think, uh, like, they can't do the same order. Does that make sense? So, that would be a good question for Ruby. Okay. Um, I'll ask her because I don't know how she wants to split up the orders, right? Because if it's one person in charge of one order, then, um... Yeah, that, that's my understanding, is like, whoever is in charge of the order, they ask, you know, whoever's around, or they fill the order themselves, and mm -hmm. uh, we just give our produce, I usually just give my produce to, to Ruby, and let her decide, you know, what she wants to do with it, if she wants to give it to Clay, if she wants to give it to other people, just to fill other orders, I, I leave it up to her. Okay. Mm hmm Got it. Yeah, that might be confusing, though, if you're all... Like all three of you are trying to fill the same order. Yeah, I, I I thought just sending it around so people could help 
you know, filling up for the order, but I see now that it can be confusing if I just Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'll talk yeah, I'll talk to Ruby. Okay. All right. Would you give would you give back? <laughs> yeah, I mean even when we don't have orders, she likes to uh to still gather so that when the orders mm-hmm. do come because they're like in batches of hundreds, you know? Yeah. I don't not rarely anybody I've, that I've heard of orders just like six eggs. It's more like, you know, a hundred eggs. Sixty. Yeah. hundred eggs. A hundred, so. Two hundred potatoes. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. So I think the, the only people that really need to know the orders are the ones that will fill them, like hand okay. them off. Uh, otherwise, I think it's kind of understood among the rest of us that we just collect when we can and give it to the ones that filled the orders. Okay. At least that's how I've been doing it. Yeah, that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Other than that, I don't think there's anything else. Alrighty. Wait. Hmm? Huh? Sammy, I, I didn't realize that the the flowers. When you step in them and like make them wiggle around, the leaves fall off. Yeah, maybe don't do it too much. It's so pretty. <laughs> Look at me, it's so pretty. Sorry, I get, right. I get excited. <laughs> Uh, Lebedi was awake as well. Oh, how is she doing? She did not look well. Mm. I have been, um, for the, for the past two days now, I'm going to continue doing it. I've been dropping off food at her, at her room. Is she not coming out? No. She came out today for a little bit. Talked to Ruby, I think. But she, she's she been staying in for the last couple of days. Or at least maybe three or four days. She'll come up when she's ready. Yeah. So I just make sure to drop off food for her. And, uh, you know. She keeps her, she keeps her lo- room locked, so... But I think she, pro- she she would probably appreciate some like I don't know. I don't think I don't think we would be able to get like talking through the door. I think I don't know. I left her a little note. That's nice. Yeah. She might just need some space. Yeah, exactly. That's why I just leave the food and just let her take it at her own time. Mm-hmm. Fang has been looking out for this Jeet person. Mm Mm-hmm. Anything? No, nothing yet. Okay. Do you know if it's true that uh, she's left the Northwest Gang? Yeah, she has. Oh, it is? Yeah. And this is a different person from... Because the other person that talked to Lebeni was Mabel, right? That was Mabel, Mm -hmm. yes. And she also left? Or Don't know. Was not really there to begin Don't. with? Not no, sure. she was part of it. She was okay. I believe she said she was new to the gang. Oh, I see. Okay. Um, but I don't know if she's left it. I don't think she has. But North and Bax from Northwest died during that shootout with Law. Do you know about that? Um, I think I heard about their leaders, losing their yeah. leaders. Yeah, so North, the person who was here kidnapping Labedi, uh-huh. um, and also tortured her, he got killed in the shootout along along with another Northwest member named Bax. The mm-hmm. rest went to Sisica, those who were part of the shootout, for a long time. They might be out by now. Yeet left the gang either be- right before or right after North died because she sent a telegram to Blanche uh, you know and 
talking ill about Northwest Gang, insinuating that she wasn't part of them anymore. I don't remember the d- direct words, mm. but I remember when she read, she told us about it. So she, when, when, was it Maybell or Mabel? Uh, I heard it as Mabel, but I could be wrong. Ma- yeah. When Mabel talked about Yit, when we were here, me, Fang, and Stan, um, and Blanche, when I asked her about Yit, she said she's like a rabid dog that cannot be controlled. And rabid dog without a collar. She's unpredictable and crazy. That's how she described her as. Now, you know, she might not have been controlled at all by be- when being part of Northwest Gang, but it might have, you know, maybe kept her a little bit at bay since she has other people to depend on or depends on her. I don't know how the di- dynamic are, but now she's not with them. So she's completely by herself, as far as we know, and completely off any kind of obligation to anyone. So free to do whatever. Mm. which is concerning. Yeah. She might be injured as well because there was some blood and pus left on a note that she left in Hanging Dog. Um, So she might be injured because Mabel was scared of leaving Northwest Gang or even talking to us because they were afraid they were going to hurt her. So imagine what they would do to someone who left their gang. Yeah, I mean, if that's how they are, maybe that's what it was. But, I mean, if you're new, then you might not know what they, what they, how they would react. Maybe that's what she experienced in the past. It doesn't necessarily mean that's what Northwest would do. No, it's all it's all just speculations. Okay, all right, count. Okay, it's good to fight fire at least. Fire is nice. I don't know. Cat. I don't. Th- I don't think the cow is bothered by the fire either. <laughs> he walked. Well, maybe not. <laughs> they walked right past it. You're free to join us by the fire fang if you want. Uh, yeah, that's that's mm. uh. Yeah, I think that's that's all we'd really know about Yit. Yit, mm. or however you pronounce it. It's spelled J-Y-T. Yeah, I've heard different pronunciations of it. Yeah, but uh, it was, it was, it was, um... It, it was either, I think it was a, a deputy or a ranger... It was a government official that gave me the correct spelling. Oh, okay. So it is J-Y-T. Which is odd, but okay. Fang, have you noticed anything else strange? No. That's good. Lots of strange people come to the valley all the time. The phrase came and they had a problem with her. Oh, what kind of problem? Because as, there was one of them that was mad at her for something that happened a long time ago. Oh. They came here and asked if there were any people that had bolt actions. Ah. Uh. They all had masks up. They were riding in a group. They said, please point us to people that have bolt actions on their shoulders. And so Fang said, there are none here. And they left, but they left towards the way that Sparks and the others had gone. So she rode ahead of them and found them all, and took them off the road so that they could not find them. Mm -hmm. And then the others reported these people to the law. And then when Fang was coming back to Pronghorn, she finds the law on the road talking to the same people, the Kyle Row. And she just watches, and then a deputy comes up and says, what are you doing? And Fang says, she's waiting to see if you fight the bad men. And she says, what do you mean by this? And she says, these were the people that came to the ranch. (gasps) And she went back and told them that Fang said that they had robbed people on the ranch. Oh, no. (laughs) 
So now the bad man blame Fang for them being chased. Hmm. So this man was upset about this and talked to her about this and say, you called him a robber when he hadn't robbed. And Fang asked, does he rob otherwise? He says, what do you mean? And Fang says, does he rob guns and money on other days than the day you speak of? And he says, yes. And Fang says, why would you be upset if he is called a robber? It's a good point. Because he's a hypocrite? <laughs> Well, he said he was trying to decide what to do. He was either going to hurt Fang or hurt Bo. What what happened? Hmm? Fang said that she would not tell the law that he had been here. If he left and did not hurt anybody and did not bother the ranch. And he just said okay? She offered him some trade paper, too. A hundred of your dollars. Oh, money. Did you like money? Hmm? Where did the others go? Blackwater. Huh. They left, I believe, during... Midday-ish? A little after midday? Oh. Uh, Lepidius, have you been told about what happened with Victory Street yesterday? No. Uh, they, they, you might have heard it uh, during during the night. They, they came and started shooting up the place. No one was hurt. No one's hurt. No one was here uh, except Lucille, who hid. Yeah. yeah they shot some buildings. What was it? Only this guest house that they shot in the bank it, house, or did they shoot? It was the house by the crops, and then the big house. Which someone's okay. walking over there, and I don't know who. Where's that? You saw him too, right? Yeah. A yellow dragon, maybe? I don't know. Oh. Oh, it's Dan. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you all right, Stan? You okay? Fire rules. Yeah, I heard them too. Oh, where? Uh, over by over, uh, over, over by that the, where that the way. Bear is. By the bear? Yeah. Yeah, they, they've been they've been behind here like two or three times already. Really? Yep. I don't see any. Do you? No. Hurt them. Oh, I think I hear. Yeah, I hear them. I hear their little growls. Yeah, they're in there. Yeah, I see them. How did you get up there? Uh, over at the little, like, thingy. If you come up uh -huh. here, you can see them all. Okay. Get a better look up here, Stan. I don't see him. Where are you? That, that way. Oh, this way. There's one. I 
That's it. I hear whimpering, maybe. Yeah, they whimper when they're scared, too. Mm, I don't see the bear. Oh, no? I do not see it, so... I think we're okay then. Yeah, we're fine. Yeah. Oh, this this horse is not. <laughs> Maybe we should let him out, huh? Okay, okay, calm down. Calm down, calm down, calm down. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. You're okay. Howdy and, and shit. <laughs> Was that your new horse, Stan? What for? Uh, the one you were leading earlier. No, not not oh. a new horse. No. Okay. Hello, Stan. I'm just gonna sit down because it looks like I'm about to fucking preach. So, I'm just <laughs> gonna... oh, what is preach? I, I, oh, oh God! So it's kind of like giving a speech, saying a lot of words. Um, you, if it's used in a bad sense, it's to like tell people what to do. It's like. Preaching oh, like the Man. word of, for uh, example, like preaching sometimes. the word of someone else. Like, um, have you ever met a priest? Mm, she has met elders. Hmm. Well, they they preach the word of you know, their their you know, of of their people, their beliefs, their gods, and so on. Is that is that your white white hat stand? No. <clears throat> yeah. Yes it C is. Congratulations. Uh to you as well. Yeah. Also heard the news, so yes. I was very happy to hear the news. Me too. I cried. <laughs> I was, hmm, I was surprised. Yeah, I was very surprised. <laughs> you mean you didn't cry, Stan? Uh, no, I, I, <laughs> I did not. You didn't? What a big surprise. <laughs> Hi, cow. This cow here. I has, know, just. <laughs> it loves this place. I think it's secretly plotting to overtake the whole ranch. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I hope y'all aren't hiding fucking K... Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, hay cubes. Hay cubes? <clears throat> no, not yeah. me. Uh, nope. No hay cubes, just me. Ooh. Oh, yeah, she heard that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> she didn't like that. Wait till you hear what kind of meat it is. I'm, it's game though. Oh. <gasps> I was gonna assure it it was not. 
beat you to it. in any fucking way, but all right, that's rude. I, I beef you to it. <laughs> oh boy, this is gonna be a long night. <laughs> Everyone else is in Blackwater right now. All right, <clears throat> it's a. Uh... Oh, actually, who? Who all? Uh, Crosby, oh, yeah. Ruby, Thomas, Clay, Rooster. All right. And Blanche uh, just probably joined them because she went just to a uh, Blackwater as, as well. I saw her in Strawberry. I see. All right. Hmm. I need to talk to Ruby. Get all the shit that I need. Oh, for Gorman tomorrow? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Are you all going to the the, the Gorma? Yes, I'm tomorrow not. night. Uh, some of us are going. How dare you, Sammy? <laughs> what? How long? Some, someone needs to hold down the fort. That's true, hmm. Sammy. And uh, Besides, you're the great a great person to, to hold down the fort. I'll hold down it with my elephant rifle. <laughs> That me, and Le, that, that me and Libetti made. Please, Ooh. no. I don't, I don't want to hear that. I, I'm, oh, I'm going to hear wait, it all the way. Haven't, <gasps> wait, Stan, you haven't seen the masterwork that me and Libetti did. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Clo close, close, close your eyes. Don't peek. Oh, okay. Not all peeking. Right, I promise I'm not peeking. Uh, Fang, we're going to go tomorrow night. And uh, and then the next day we'll pick lemons together. And then come back um, that day. So just... Just overnight, and then come back on Wednesday. So a short trip to pick lemons. Ta-da! Oh, oh. Wait. That's, that's a lot. There's a lot going on on that gun. <laughs> Isn't it hideous? <laughs> Interesting color choices. <laughs> It's named Bippity Bobbity Boom. Oh my goodness. Uh, one second. <clears throat> What's that smell? I I may or may not have sprayed the gun with a sour perfume. But, <laughs> why would you do that? This whole thing is to try and make people not want to rob it. Oh, kind of like how Rooster named his gun Bed, Wet, and Thief? Yes. <laughs> okay. This is my pride and joy, my ugly baby, <laughs> and I love her. <coughs> <coughs> You're right, Stan. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, you know, just a little, you know, drive, drive of it. <coughs> Oh. <clears throat> it's okay. Yeah. Mm, 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 that's. <laughs> it's okay. You can't say. Oh yeah, it's I ugly. can smell it from here. I encourage it's... it. It's. Mm, How do you stand that smell? All these strange people oh, on the ranch. Oh, wolves. Which direction, though? Where? Hmm. I heard them. Let me at him. Huh. I thought I heard them. She only heard one bark. Hmm. I heard one, I think. Or two. Oh, there's a horse rolling around in the in the grass. Huh. 
that's weird. Mm. Do you think it was a coyote? No, someone uh, rode through uh, oh. near, the, near the outhouse there and shit. So. Did they ride Can through I with a wagon? Because you? then they would have scared yeah, the sure. wolf away. No. <clears throat> Where do you want to talk? Rider on a horse. Um, I mean, I don't, I I don't I mind. Saw for, for okay. Um, second, how about was a black horse, on the porch of the bunkhouse? Who fucking knows? Sure. Okay. Uh, Lepetti and I are just gonna have a chat by, uh, the bunkhouse. Yeah, take your time. You wanna stand or sit? Um, which, whichever is, is okay. Alright. You? Do you think I'm a bad partner? You mean like, I'm guessing you're asking romantically, right, for Clay? Mm-hmm. He, he trusts you immensely. I, I admit, I'm a little jealous of it just because he seems to trust everyone but me. Well? It's hard for me to say because I I don't think I know you very well. I know you a little bit. Uh, I especially don't know you as a romantic partner, that's for sure. So... I guess it's a hard question, and forgive me. A little I'm... bit. Why do you think he doesn't trust you? Because he doesn't go to me anymore. Mm. Did he used to? A lot. Mm. He used to have really bad anxiety attacks, so he would always try and reach out to me. I regret not being around whenever he did. What do you think changed? Northwest. Everything after is just. Hmm. I started getting on his nerves. I admit, after Northwest, I thought, anyway, that I had a, a sense of invincibility. Because if I could survive that, what couldn't I, right? I mean, now I, I obviously know that I was wrong. I'm not invisible, no one is. I'm sorry, I, I don't know what I'm talking about. That's all right. Don't need to be sorry. I don't know that much about your relationship with Clay and how you were and how you are now. But um, one thing I can say is that for a relationship to work, there needs to be proper communication. Once communication breaks down, everything else kind of crumbles after that. So if you can't be honest with each other and listen to each other, and by listen, I mean really listen, and sometimes Sometimes you need to state the obvious. It might be obvious to you, but it might not be obvious to the other person. Because we all live in our own worlds. And so, I might say something, 
but the other person doesn't have context for it. Or, um, or vice versa. And the other thing we have to be really careful of is, um, being careful about assuming things about the other person. Instead of assuming, try to ask. Ask questions for clarification. Being curious instead of, you know, jumping to conclusions and assuming the worst, which is not always easy because that's usually a way that we protect ourselves. Right? Team speak why? Team speak why? Trying to have a scene here. Mm, sorry about that. The first one. It seems like nowadays he blames me for everything and I get hurt. Every time I get hurt, even though most of the time it's just by accident. I can see how that would be frustrating. I think the reason that he um, gets upset is because he cares a lot about you. I know. And I think sometimes that manifests as maybe lecturing you. I don't know exactly how he goes about it. And in the moment, it feels like he's blaming you. He gave me one chance. One more chance. And did you take and I'm it? scared. Of course I took it, but I'm, I'm scared that I so much just twist my ankle, it's done. Hmm. I don't want to go to Borma. Because you're afraid of getting hurt? I'm terrified. I could barely muster up the strength to get out of bed. I fear I'll fall down the stairs or choke on a piece of meat. And then he'll tell me he can't do it anymore. And that's that. You're in a hard position, Lebetty. One more fuck up and I'm out of it all. Ruby gave me one chance. Clay's giving me one chance. It's a lot of pressure. I don't know what to do no more. Is that why you've been staying in your room? Yes. If 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 I don't leave then I I, I don't get hurt. Right? I mean, the answer is yes, but 
That doesn't sound like a way to live. I don't know how to live. I basically live like that and then my parents and I know that I don't get hurt that way. And everyone knows how awful my parents were. Hmm. Under the guise of them loving me. I don't think Clay or Ruby are trying to trap you inside or trap you on this ranch or trap you anywhere, really. I understand the logic. But I think it's it's kind of like... Um, do you know what a pendulum is? Well, yeah, it's attached to your intestines, right? Uh, not quite. It's, um, imagine you have a string, and at one end of the string you've got something like a coin. And if you move the coin and to the left and then let go, it'll swing back and forth, right? Yeah. So if... I move it all the way to the left, that's kind of one extreme. And if I move it all the way to the right, that's another extreme. But if I let it go and let it swing back and forth and wait until it goes into the middle, then you've got something in the middle. Maybe something balanced. I think um, before this talk that you had with Clay and Ruby, you were on the extreme of feeling invincible, right? Like you described? And now you're realizing maybe that's not the way. But it, it sounds like to me you've swung to the other side of the extreme. Now you don't want to go out anywhere for fear of stubbing your toe. Right? But we, I, I think Clay and Ruby want something in the middle. You know, still going out and, I mean, we face danger all the time. I mean, they were probably fighting off a bear or wolves or something out there. Just not two minutes ago. You can't tell me that's not dangerous, right? I've been instructed not to engage in any of that. I see. I can't be a part of no danger. Hmm. How exactly did they word it? They said you cannot... Go shoot wolves or bears or if the wolves run when into I'm, the ranch? When I'm not alone, it's a way to practice the uh, problem of running towards danger, I guess. Yeah, so I think their point is that you don't run alone away from the group toward the danger. But if you're with the group or say you're alone... Obviously, they'd want you to fight back, if wolves are chasing you. But I think, um, at least what it sounds like is the main issue is staying with the group. And just being a little more cautious. And if you need to take some time to be in that house for fear of doing something unsafe, that, that might be time you need to take. But I think eventually our goal is having that pendulum swing and end up in the middle. Does that make sense? I guess so. It's just... 
Everything everyone's told me is still swimming in my head. I think the most important thing, though, is that you're willing to learn. And like you said, it's... Your parents sound... Like they weren't... They didn't, um... They had no faith in me. Yeah. So I think it's... It's all a process of learning. Hi there, Crosby. Crosby? Yeah. Hi. How um, y'all doing? Yeah, we're doing all right. Uh, Libetti has to talk with me, so... Oh, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I apologize. All right. No, that's fine. I guess to answer your question from the very, very beginning, are you a bad partner? From what I'm hearing now, from what I'm hearing now, I would say, no, you're not a bad partner. Because a bad partner is someone who isn't willing to listen and isn't willing to um, put the other person in front of themselves. Ideally, in a relationship, um, both people put the other person before themselves. So that way, both people are taken care of. What? Before? Sorry? But before? Before? Hmm. Trivial at best. I think it's hard to say before, because I think... I think to be a bad partner, it's got to be intentional. And to me, it doesn't sound like it was intentional. It sounded like you had a certain way of thinking. And then y you came to realize that you were mistaken. But from our conversation, I can tell that you love Clay and that you care about this ranch and you want to make Ruby proud. And that's why you're terrified of leaving that room. That's part of growing up. Growing up is realizing that our actions have effect on other people. Positive or negative. Nobody's perfect. And the hell that? That's all I've ever been told to be. I'm so sorry that you were told this.
to have to live to see. the impossibility of a standard is... I feel like it could break someone. I'm trying not to let it break me, man. If you're someone you love one and you to be that way, <laughs> it's an old kind of different pain, even though I know we don't. He never told me I had to be perfect, but I still feel like I have to have been hardwired into my brain. Change is never easy. And all we can do is do our best. Does... Does he hate that he loves me? Four or five people riding this way uh, on our way back from Wallace. I don't know. Okay, understood. Wonder if they changed it. Either they changed their mind because they saw us right ahead and into the ranch, or they weren't coming this way at all. I don't know if you heard all that. There's um, there were no. four or five people out there uh, who were watching Clay and Rooster and possibly following up here. If they do, and there's a fucking issue, oh, yep. both of you get the fuck out. Go send a tip. We have okay. shooters picked. All right. Okay. Yes, me. All right. Where are they? They're straight ahead. I still want so. Badly to fight. All right. Oh, there's two people on fleet on foot. I know you do. Well, this is so do I. That's a that's a very fucking wise idea. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. If any thing really starts um Eleanor and Libetti are going to go send a tip alright <laughs> oh is that gonna have his guns out on horses do they have I'll see him skulking around or just looking at us? we don't fucking recognize them at all there's down by down by the down by the barn, straight across the ranch. They're right there. Yep, that's fine. Oh, okay, okay. Let's try. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's fine. I'm gonna go talk to Fang real quick. Find out if they know who these people are. With a bear belt. With who? A bear pelt. Oh. Yeah, I believe there were four of them, yeah. yeah it looks like all four of them are on their horses right now. This group is. Get on, mm. 
people who are going to get a good bash in in if they come here. Mm-hmm. Which direction did they ride off to? Why don't they let you fight? Well, I'm not quite sure it's that they don't let me fight. If they ride up in range, you could just put them inside the same way you did. Um, there's two, two opinions. There's Thomas's opinion where, um, he indeed would, would prefer to not let me fight. Because I, um, I have a husband and a daughter who live just outside the crossing. And Thomas does not like the idea of me fighting because it's too dangerous. I suspect it has to do with him being very close with my sister who died here last year. Ah, uh, I see. The other is Ruby. I think the reason she told me and you to get out is because they've chosen shooters. And, um, we don't want more people to get hurt than necessary. And, um... Well, sometimes being part of a team means being willing to play any role in the team. And I trust Ruby. I, I don't let just anybody tell me what to do. But I trust Ruby in her judgment and her tactical skills. And if, in her mind, um, she knows, and I've told her, that... She tells me what to do and I'll do it. You know, you want me to shoot, I'll shoot. You want me to go send a telegram, I will go send a telegram. You want me to go wait in strawberry, I will wait in strawberry. I told her I'm willing to do whatever she needs me to do because sometimes having too many cooks in the kitchen just makes everyone confused. But if you have a singular leader and a singular voice and everybody's willing to listen and obey commands, well, everything runs like a well-oiled machine and a lot more people live. So as much as I want to fight, I recognize that sometimes if I'm not willing to, uh, to step down, that can mean more people get hurt, more people can get confused, and we have a worse outcome. So that's why I have no issue with Ruby telling me that uh, if things go off, we go send telegrams. Hmm. That doesn't mean I don't want to fight, though. Of course I want to fight. Of course I don't want to let other people take bullets for me. But Ruby knows. And if she needs me, I fight. But if she doesn't, I get out of the way. So everybody else can fight, and everybody else can live, or have the best chance of living. I think the reason Pronghorn is so effective, and honestly, intimidating to many people in the crossing, it's because we are coordinated. We communicate with each other. I mean, it seems like we're more well organized than some of the gangs out here. And I think that's what scares people. Because when you have something like that, 
when you've got individuals that are not working as individuals but as a singular team, you can accomplish a lot. And you can be a powerful force. A formidable foe. Exactly. I think there's a quote somewhere that says, you know, one can chase 1,000, but two can chase 10,000. You'd think that it'd be 2,000. But somehow it's 10. Imagine what six can do. But that only works if they're working together and as a team. I think it's okay to be sad about about the past, but I think you've got a lot to be hopeful for in the future. And when you make mistakes, apologies go a long way. And even if they don't accept your apology, even if things happen that you'd really rather not, it's not the end. It's a... Uh, it becomes a lesson. Life will move on, and there will be more changes. And we're all learning and growing. One more horse over there. I envy your level headedness. <laughs> I was not always this way. Like I said, lessons. Hmm. I used to be, oh, very full of pride. Pride and anger. One of my... One of my biggest regrets... Could have been prevented if I hadn't been so... Prideful. And angry. But at the same time... I don't know if I'd change what I did, because that's an experience I learned from. It's made me who I am today. Life has a way of tempering you, so if you're worried about your temper, as long as you're willing to change, if you surround yourself with good people, change will happen. Yes, I never wanted to change because well, they tried to force me to change back in the day. It scares me. Wow. 
Well, I can tell you that change never gets any less scary. Or any less hard. But now you've got people around you. Who care about you. And want the best for you. Thank you, Elena. Yeah, of course. Anytime. Hmm. I guess she can't see what they're talking about. <laughs> I guess so. I, um... I'm glad that you felt safe enough to talk with me about this. Well, of course. Your family. <laughs> Ain't you? Yeah. Yeah, I am. Ain't too many people I feel safe with these days. But you guys I can always rely on. I'm glad we have each other. You know, I think people like us have to learn the hard way. Which is as unfortunate and... Well, that's kind of how it is. And like I say with my friend Tibbet, life isn't fair. That's all right. <laughs> I guess it hasn't been, has it? No. Lots of, thing are, lots of things are not fair, and it sucks. A lot, sometimes. But we've got each other, and we'll get through it. Let me keep it from the adults. <laughs> All right. Now people that are going to be guards, I did. I missed the. Here, I'll help you. I read I'll too read fast. It. I'm sorry. It's okay. One second. Please. Are we still we keeping will. an eye out, or have they left? Safe travel. We Safe are travel. pretty sure that we're fine. Okay. Uh, still keep an eye out, though. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Okay, if you're picking, which you are, you're going to bring a sidearm, 50 bullets, a canteen, and space for a ticket, and anything you can carry on your belt. That's it. Food will be carried by security people. Okay. Can you repeat that sidearm? You just what? want to read the whole thing so we all know. Yes, I'll read the whole thing. That's a good <laughs> idea. Yeah, let's okay. do that. Mm -hmm. It's not going to be as fun as these smut books that we, you know, enjoy, but uh, pretty damn close like if, uh, if I do say it. Oh, okay. okay. You just add a little touch to it. <laughs> all right, I will. Hold on. Oh, all right, here we go. Oh, dear. Hello. Ah. You're invited on the Great Gorma Lemon Run. Please RSVP with yes or no as soon as possible so I know who I'm buying tickets for. This is hot. Uh, 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 uh. Roster. Stan. <laughs> Security. <laughs> Crosby <laughs> security. <laughs> Clay Picker. Picker. <laughs> I can't keep this up. LeBetty Picker. <laughs> Eleanor Picker. Ruby Picker. Rooster Picker. Oh, Blanche yeah. Picker. Um, I'll take this moment to let you know that Vargas will be joining us. Um oh. it's possible 
that Tess is joining us and maybe Rhett, I think, just as friends. Um, not They'll probably help, I'm sure, but they're not uh, officially picking or security or anything like that. They're just there for the trip. Um, okay. <clears throat> what we're doing, picking as many lemons as we can possibly carry and carrying them back in our bags and in crates to be stored in Ruby's wagons. Pickers, if you keep 16 spaces of your bag free and carry a crate, you'll be able to carry 80 lemons in your pockets and 40 in the crate. This is the expected haul. I'm buying everyone's ticket over there because it's likely most of the profit from the lemons will end up in my bank anyway, simply due to me storing them. We will arrive in Guarma Tuesday. You can join up with whoever's around. We'll plan to get to Ansburg to catch the boat at 10.30 p.m. Eastern Time. If you can't make that time, get there on your own. On Wednesday, we pick the lemons. If we have the full roster I've provided, those designated will provide security while the rest of us gather and fill our stock. A map to the lemon grove and instructions on getting there will be provided. Question, why aren't, bringing, why aren't we all bringing some back? If, you ha if I have you down for security and you want some lemons as well, or you want to hold some for someone who is picking for pronghorn, feel free. I just don't have enough room to stock more than 18 crates per person, and this seemed most efficient. We will plan to catch the boat back out of Guarma at 10.40 p.m. Eastern Time on Wednesday after we pick. This should hopefully give us a couple of hours to do the picking. See schedule below. Flood will have a train ready in Ansburg for us, and we'll have him take us to Emerald Ranch. I'll have my wagons transferred there so we can hopefully unload the crates and such in relative peace. Scheduled Tuesday, 10.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Meet in Ansburg to catch the boat. That means be there by 10.30, by the way, but I mm -hmm. think most of us will be around before then. Um, <clears throat> Ruby will dispense tickets over the next few days for all yes responses. Uh, after 10.30 p.m., fuck around in Warma. Schedule Wednesday. Wake up. <laughs> head to the Lemon Grove and start picking. 10.20 p.m. Eastern Time. Start heading down to the docks to get ready to sail home. 10.40 p.m. Eastern Time. Sail home. Before 11 p.m. Eastern Time. Board the train in Ansburg and travel to Emerald. Before 11.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Finish storing the lemons and head back to the ranch. Packing lists. Pickers. Sidearm. 50 bullets. Canteen. Space for a ticket. Anything you can carry on your belt is fine. Uh, I'd also like if you all would bring $10 for your ticket home, please, and thank you. <coughs> Security. Please let me outfit you from my leftover stash from the Northwest fight so I can clear some crates. Two to four bed bags. Bandages. Rifle and sidearm. Food for the group. Which is like bags of jerky, meat, stacks of whatever. You know, vegetables, whatever you want to bring. Canned beans. <coughs> Looking forward to hearing from y'all. Ruby. So I have a bunch of shit that I don't need uh, for this trip, and I have nowhere to put it. So would one of the security people or whatever like to go? Oh, what's happening? It's fine. There's a rider. Um, oh, okay. So uh, store it in your wagon or... Wagon's full. You don't have... Your hotel is full, too? Yep. What, what is it Sounds like you need to throw some shit away in one of those <laughs> trash cans you love so I throw, much. I throw nothing away. No, I just I took uh, it out of the trash can. I don't want to put it back in. What, what can I... I don't know how to help you, Rooster. <laughs> I Trust me, I've tried. Uh, can I make a recommendation? Sure. <laughs> What's that? Um, if you're bringing panda goods, uh, take uh, wax from like a candle and put it around the edges uh, like where you'd normally cut it open with a cane opener. Uh, that way it'll keep it from uh, spoiling during the trip or the uh, humidity won't rust the edges of the can. Mm -hmm. okay. Looks like I'll be All right. making noted jerky and shit. Yeah, I think jerky's probably better. Or yeah, even if y'all get just... there and you hunt stuff when we're there, that's fine by yeah. me too. They got a lot of pigs and boars and shit, so... Yeah, I was going yeah, ask. Rooster, the answer is no, we don't have space to hold your trash. So, <laughs> I'm sorry. What, what kind of trash is it? Yeah, what, what do you have to hold on to? Well, the extra things that I have on me are uh, rifle ammo, have eight bandages, and I have gun oil. Why not use it when you're running I need low? The, I need the space. Yeah, he needs the space. Well, I can take all that off you. Thank you. That's what yeah, I was yeah. looking for. <laughs> oh, oh, you, oh, just, oh, I thought you meant like you had it in, okay, no, never mind. Welcome back, Fang. There is a fight near a strawberry. Oh. oh. You think it's like, the same people? Oh. 
Hold on. Hold it did on. not look like the same people. There were oh, only wait, four what? here, but there were six there. Yeah, you, you didn't name anything. God damn it. But no, the they were fighting the Tin Men, and the Tin Men lost. Oh, uh, oh fuck. All right. There, there you go. Thank you. Are they able to get themselves limped back to the office, or do they need help? There are three of them standing, helping the other three. Okay. All righty, then. I'm sorry. I was and... dis- distracted. What just happened? Who who got hurt? Uh, uh, Law was else. fighting somebody. Oh, okay, okay. Wonder if it was our four friends. It was not. Oh, okay. Um. So those two people uh, left. Same way. Uh, you um, came there. Did 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 you see them? And mm, yes, she passed them on the field. And they were being chased by wolves, and then Fang tried to shoot the wolves, and the wolves took very many arrows, and she's convinced they were ghosts because they disappeared. <gasps> hmm. hmm. He wolves. found some sick ones then. She did not see them die. She doesn't oh, know what happened. God. Oh, no. But the fog was, was very thick. Maybe she picked, imagined them in her head. It is possible. But anyway, she talked to the law and asked if they need help, and one had a gun and said, what are you? She thought that what was very funny. What are you? What? See that. <laughs> that, is, that is such a rude question. People are ridiculous. She was nervous. She had her people bleeding at her feet. Bang does not blame her. Yeah. Yes. The fucking fog, though. Yeah, yeah this is pretty terrible right now. It's been yes, really Fang, come out of the fog. Like a ghost. <laughs> Spirit mm. in the wild. Mm, Fang was never really real to begin with. She's just a spirit that holds this mask. Oh, oh my God. God. Fang is the mask. Y'all excuse me, I'm going to go use the road. Out, out. So if you mm, give the is... mask to somebody else, do you just cease to exist, or are you free? Mm, that are... Well, the fa- uh, the mask's name is Fang, and the girl's name is Saskia. Oh. Oh my god. Wow. So but... does the mask take over the person who wears it and becomes... Fang? I guess? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I'm, I'm confused. <laughs> the look, the look under the yeah. mask. Says I can't it even all. see her eyes, and still yep, I can feel I can, how yep. she looks. Yep. Nobody likes me anymore. <laughs> that, that, is like trash. <laughs> that is not true. That is not true. Rooster, you're okay and shit. Oh, <laughs> she does not know about the trash, but it, it is not true no, that he, you were not liked. He does. He does pick trash. That is true. <laughs> yes, I do. Proudly. Yeah, um, she used to think that the mask and the girl were different, but now she knows they are the same. So both names are for one person. Oh. Mm, okay. This sounds like growth. <laughs> Is this a character arc? Yes, like a plant <laughs> or a weed. No, like um, oh. like growing up. Moving from childish ways to grown up ways. Blah. Why did you say what that? The, what was that? Blah. Blah. Who the hell? Why does everybody think being a Why does everybody think being a child is better? It's really not. Because it was fun. <laughs> being an adult is fucking work. I guess. I don't know. I just like knowing things, and I felt like when I was a child, I didn't fucking know any, no shit, and that bothered me a lot. You knew you didn't know shit? Because when I was a kid, I didn't know I knew shit. Didn't know shit. <laughs> Until no, I, I fucking learned, knew I it. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I knew I didn't know shit. No, all the people she sees are the same. They get older. They get slower. They groan more. They get married for some reason. <laughs> now, get married. That's fun. Yeah, that is really fun. <laughs> 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 I guess not for everyone. Nope, sure ain't. My new favorite noise. Blech. Blech. 
too. <laughs> the small sheriff tried to describe smut to her the other day for some reason. <laughs> Oh, Which yeah, small I mean, sheriff? Uh, I have to know. Gregor. What <laughs> what <laughs> makes him small? I had, I would. Yeah. Uh, under under sheriff. Under sheriff. Oh, under sheriff is a small oh, sheriff. Oh, I see. I see. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I was there for that situation, and, and I I just I was listening to it, and I was witnessing it, and I just couldn't say anything. I just had to watch it and let it happen. What did he say, Fang? How did he explain it? He said he had a book, but he wasn't sure if Fang was grown up enough to read it. <laughs> <laughs> Which is a dumb thing to say. See something out there? No, nah, just checking. Can, can you explain to us what <laughs> smut is? In great detail, please. <laughs> oh, dear God. Help. <laughs> <laughs> Yeehaw. <laughs> that, yeah, that too, but also. Uh oh, it is. Mm, it is. Yes, it is. Mm hmm. <laughs> when. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when someone. <laughs> writes. A silly story about two people mating. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah, that works. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah, Yeehaw. Yeehaw? Mm-hmm. Yeehaw, indeed. You need to do it slow. Yeehaw. Yeah, do it real slow. But black, real, no, real slow. No, Yeehaw. Nothing to your voice. It's like, yeehaw. <laughs> Yeehaw. Like he's annoyed with us. What if we all just do it at the same time? No, I can't do mm. it. Yeah, come on. It's only Stan. He he does does he he do do he three uh, two one. Yeah. 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 Oh. <laughs> Good job. Maybe we can get a little better. Yeah. <laughs> oh, can, can we... said one practice round is enough. Can we, what? like, one time ride, <laughs> just ride through town if there's a lot of people and everyone just ride through going, yee <laughs> God. The looks we'd get. It would be funny, <laughs> but also no. Oh. Are you? <laughs> Listen, uh, anybody can do that who wants to. I will abstain. I used to have to ride through towns going, Everett City coach and freight, next coach leaves and blah, blah, blah. C cost for next train ride to whatever amount is this and I hate it. It's a lot of words. Mm. It's too much. You got all that out while you were Does that driving mean by? I can't... While you were just rolling by slowly down the middle of fucking Valentine's so everybody could fucking hear you. Yeah, it was terrible. <laughs> I hated it. Does that mean I can't go through town going wee? No, you perf you absolutely may. I just will not. Okay. Okay. Well, I'll just I don't like you. drawing attention to myself. Judge me. How dare you? I am the mighty leader of the Wii gang. Don't you judge me? Well, you're part of a gang. Well, Excuse me. Yeah. That, take that hat off. You're not part I, of a gang. I am. I am. I am. I am the leader not. of the Wii gang. Nope. Can't have it's it. It's true. I did forget to go and check your records, both of you. Mm, violent criminal. Leader. I've Whoops. never been caught, so there won't be anything there. <laughs> well, now you just told us, so. <laughs> you need facts. That could be hearsay. Just joking. I Do you believe. rob people of yeah. darkness and despair? It is very true. I hear you say it. <laughs> I've, See, I've, I've infiltrated witnesses. my way. Yeah, I think you've reached to, the end of the road to now. To the Rangers as well. I am, the, I am their unofficial, official, unofficial Ranger secretary. Hmm. Ah, that's too many. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sammy, how many wait, jobs wait. do you have? Um, I have this job. I have. You better fucking stop there. Job. <laughs> I have my job as a baker for the market. I have. I think that's it. Now, how many of those jobs you actually get paid for? Because I know you don't take a lot of payment for the baked goods. I only at the market. If if 
if I could, I would just not take any payment at all for it, but people are very insistent. Mm. But when you but have get, a good, good product, people want to pay you. Yeah. But you mo- mo- mostly, I, I, it's actually a... I mean, yeah, I get paid the most doing the jobs here, but sometimes when I'm selling in the market, I can walk away with like three to five hundred dollars. Mm-hmm. People tip very well for baked goods. Yeah, <laughs> as they should. <laughs> Didn't even say anything dirty. <laughs> what was that one for? It doesn't have to be fucking dirty. There, goddamn rooster. He says it all the time. Every time you, every time you've done it before, it's always been. Oh, I guess it's just because you're around me. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> you are a very dirty man. Yes, I am. A uh, very dirty man. Dirty, dirty boy. Yeah, dirty boy. Dirty boy. <laughs> We can put him in the river. Yeah. <laughs> Wa- wash room. him like a puppy. <laughs> oh, good lord. <laughs> I like a puppy. I don't know, because the puppies usually, like, they fight against it because they, they, they want to play and stuff, and they don't they don't want to sit still. Mm. Well, I better get back to Blackwater to get stain and shit while I still have energy to do so. I actually need to head to bed. Yeah, I'm okay. going to head to Strawberry and go to bed. All right, we will drop anybody who wants to go to Strawberry off in Strawberry. Shall we? Mm-hmm. All right. Let's actually, yeah, we need to ride through Strawberry anyway, so let's just do that. Strawberry, then Blackwater. Oh, let's go. Oh, good, good night, everybody. Uh, I'm going to be Good night. Good night, uh, Rooster. Good night, Rooster. Good night, Thomas. Good, yeah, yeah. Good I love night. you all. Yeah. Good night, good everyone night. who's going to sleep. Night, Where is my horse? Good, good night. Walk well. Love all you. Bruno. Where'd he go? Is this Bruno over here? Are you Bruno? Nope. I had put your horse in the barn because I didn't want oh. any horses to get killed. Okay, Sorry. I was like, I couldn't find a horse. Yep. Ruby's just gonna shout at Clay, who's in the outhouse taking oh, okay. incredibly long. <laughs> just shouting at him that we're leaving. But, uh, yeah, how about you know you and you and Chip? You know, how are you feeling? It's not Firebird, is it? Who? Hey, Ruby. Yeah. Do you know who Firebird is? I've heard the name. They're apparently a fucking notorious criminal, and they're very fucking dangerous, and they kill people for no reason, which I don't buy. For one second. Why? Right. Mm. Oh, bear's angry. Bear is very angry. Uh, over by the over there, I hear it. Oh. All right, we'll just be cautious and let's get out of here. Howdy, mind the bear. Why is all the cows here? They got scared early. And then they decided to just graze out back. Oh, here he comes! Here he comes! Who? Bear? Where? I don't know. Where did Sammy go? 
Are you telling me you don't see the bear? We don't, we don't no. see the bear. Okay, Sammy. We're all okay. That's the most important thing. Yeah, that was just so weird. I guess there's ghost bears now. Mm hmm. Just like there are ghost wolves. I guess I'm just hallucinating. Maybe it's your bedtime. Maybe it is. It does feel like it's half past 4 a.m. Had a D pronghorn. How D? Hello. Oh, sorry, Sammy. <laughs> it was the cutest howdy I've ever gotten in a long time. Mine? Yeah, the how D. <laughs> Whatever calls me. <laughs> good night, Stan. Good night, Eleanor. Well, oh, good night, Sammy. Yeah, good night. How D? Good night, Sammy. <laughs> good night, Ruby. Where's 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 Crosby? Uh, I think he went to his hotel room to get tobacco. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Well, can you tell him good night for me? Mm -hmm. Sure. You can just. Are you going to the hotel? Just wave. You might. <laughs> you might see him in the hall. <laughs> I, I, I might. <laughs> you know what's funny about the telegram that you sent me, Ruby, is that um, I arrived at the ranch just as you all left. Oh my lord! Really? Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> oh. It's all right. Yeah. Maybe they're just hanging out. Three. So, Pronghorn, how's it going? How are y'all doing? Pretty good today. Mm -hmm. Just getting I love ready. The pronghorn, boy, we're... pronghorn boys. Yippee! Hello, pronghorn. Thank you. Yippee! <laughs> Shh, guys, don't, don't look now. We're like local celebrities. <laughs> Shh, keep it to yourself, though. It's, it's the Pronghorn people. The Do you think they'll like cows for me? <laughs> 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 Probably for a fee. Uh, no, things have been going pretty well. We're just getting ready to go on a trip. We're going to Gorma for a couple days. Oh, nice. Yeah, that Do still have yet to go back to Gorma and actually enjoy it. Uh, you Boy, should go Gorma. and plan to enjoy it. Uh, I will try. Because it's fucking beautiful. Mm-hmm. Oh, Clay is not in the outhouse, he said. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, then. <laughs> I just, I'm, nice. I'm come to learn I've shouted at an empty outhouse. <laughs> and I feel embarrassed. Well, it might have been what? full at least once. Oh, Mate. shit. <laughs> oh, my God. Is he okay? That twice already oh, no. tonight. Yeah, that's twice already. Oh no, was that Bruno? You could Bruno? be, be shouting at that house that's uh, occupied, but not by the person you're expecting. <laughs> Bruno, Bruno, calm down. Calm down. Hey, it's okay. Oh, it's okay. Okay, are you done? Oh no. Ruby's punching someone out. Oh, he just won't go down. Yeah, that works. That actually works. That's a good call sign. You mess with the prong, you get the horn. <laughs> Leave it all. Thank you. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Oh, sorry. Don't forget your hat. Ruby, are you okay? I feel more alive than I've felt all day. Had <laughs> a girl. That'll certainly be. That's the spirit. That's the shit spoo we need. Thanks. Good. Oh boy. Good shit, I Ruby. Need a cigarette. Thank you. Good fucking shit. I want to go start five. I miss that. I'm fucking fellas in roads used to fucking just attack random people for no reason. A couple times a week, I'd say. God. Those were the days. And you miss that? <laughs> yeah, I fucking love fighting. <laughs> I There's love it. fights that happen every now and then. It's not the same when it's all sanctioned and stuff. There's people watching like there's just no animal realism. That's true. You just want to go start a bar fight? We don't see your life flash before your eyes. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yesterday, there was a pack of... Was it yesterday? Two days ago. Four wolves. Three of us dealing with it. They were the sick ones. So fucking hard as fuck to kill, right? While we were fighting them, all unseated, right? The horses fucking run off because they're not dealing with them bastards. Five more run up. Jeez. Jesus. There was definitely a moment where I thought this might be the end. It was great. <laughs> You've been feeling pretty good then, lately, <laughs> Ruby. Oh yeah. <laughs> Got that fire going. My bloodlust runs deep. <sighs> well, if you ever want to get into a brawl, just reach out to me and I'll help you out. <laughs> I know how to piss people off. Oh, do you? Do you? <laughs> well, I'm gonna stay on straight and narrow, but I'll See? keep the uh, uh, oh, display. Come on! <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is that how you start bar fights? That's exactly how I start bar fights. <laughs> oh God! That, ugh, ugh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't Honestly, know this, sir. Hello, I'm Ruby. <laughs> Howdy, I'm Johan. Johan, nice to meet you. Johan's a good friend of mine. Oh, gee. That was I should probably so. as bad as the time Buncey put her finger in my eye socket. Oh. You. Oh. But $900 is $900. So. Oh, she my God. God. She paid you nine hundred dollars to touch your eye socket. <laughs> exactly. I was who gonna turn is this that person? Shit down. Yeah, no. She's a legend in her own right. Uh, yeah, legend Cryptid. is definitely something. <laughs> Some sort of creature from beyond. Oh my god! This had to have yeah. happened in Valentine. Did it, Johan? Uh, yep, in the saloon. Yep, color me shocked. I'm trying to remember if that was before or after I started working there. I think it was after. I'm gonna ask Crosby if he wants to use the tailor yeah. here. Bunty likes to just just full sends into it. Everything that she does. Hey, she asked permission first. And then offered nine hundred dollars. 
Oh, look, there's the sheriff. Look how elegant oh. she is. So pretty. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, Bunty yesterday. God! I'm so glad I dumped a fucking bucket of ice on her. She fucking needed it. Yeah, she needed Good it. Good fucking god, god, she was damn. on one. My girl was like one of them barrels of popcorn in the kettle. Yes, yes, Clay. Oh, yeah, hello. on one is apt. Good to huh? see you. Oh, good All right, Prime Horn, let's get ready to move out. All right. All right. Do Blackwater. No, no, no. Do Blackwater. Prong horn, boys. Bye, Prong Horn. Goodbye, Sawyer. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Nice to meet you. Goodbye. Hey, good to meet you. Goodbye. 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 She ain't like a real lady. Oh, my God. You are real lady. That's a joke. I'm sorry. I'll have to explain to you some more, but we say, if you ever hear us say, a real lady. It's a joke. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> context, Ruby. Context. We love y'all. Did you hear that? She loves us. Well. Strawberry, and that they're probably dealing with people dying. So I thought yeah, it would be inappropriate. Yeah, that'd be awful. <laughs> was that? Whoa. What was that? What did, what did my horse hear? Okay, I'm falling back a bit because this is messy. One of us is going to crash into something. Wagon. Wagon ahead. Oh, looks like he's stuck. Rider. Rider ahead. If that was you, try that again. But 
Who is that? That looks like Eleanor. Rusty. And so, I'm just putting all my stuff because I don't have any space in my bank. I think we saw Eleanor Kane. Like, um, right there. But I'm not sure. Oh, I forgot I had this. Okay, you can take this, and this, and this. Missing all the injuries in the dark pretty clothes. Oh. Did she not have an eye patch? Then yeah, it's not Eleanor. Okay. Um, so it was sidearm. I do have a sidearm. Food. Okay, so I have to get rid of this stuff. And I'll eat one. Alright. And then trash. She was looking half away. Oh, there's small sheriff McGregor. <laughs> I can't get over it. Okay, and then go to the bank. Oh shoot, I forgot to buy ammo. Um, place for a ticket. When she says sidearm, but I already have that here. Mm. <clears throat> okay. Some gun ammo.
Hello, hello. Yeah, hello. Where did I die? Hitch. Oh, shoot. Hitched. Oh, wait, no, I'm getting ammo. I got a telegram from Rhett, by the way, okay. saying that there were six people going hunting and riding in the direction of Blackwater. Oh, no. Um, as we were leaving, so we need to right. uh, just keep our eyes peeled. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to start gathering folk up. I think Crosby's at the tailor, so I think no, okay. he's at medical. Oh, by Why the way, when you there? said sidearm, um, did you mean like... Handgun. Uh, hand, okay, all right. Yeah. So I should have 16 plus, two, like, 17 spots free? Uh, it'll be 16 when you have a ticket with you. You have to have a spot free for a ticket when you go back, you know? Oh, what if I have my so, sidearm in my holster? Oh, shit. I forgot about that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, so then you oh, can... Okay. I took something off the list. Yeah, you can have one more thing. Okay. Oh. What should I have? Hmm. Maybe I'll get my medical bag then. Yeah, that or food. Oh, maybe food because we'll have a couple people that do have those, right? Yeah, security's carrying food. Okay. I forgot. It doesn't make any sense. Hello. Okay. Um, we're going to gather everybody else and stay collected because apparently there was a group of six riding around going hunting. I got mm -hmm. a telegram from uh, Rhett. So yeah, we'll uh, yep, yeah. Oh, clay. I think they're going out robbing folks. So I'm gonna collect Clay and Libetti and uh, who else did we have with us? Um, is that it now? Sammy went to bed. Sammy went to bed. Fang left. Was doing bed. It. One, two, three, four. Oh, Thomas four. went to bed. Yep, that's everybody. Okay. Are we leaving town or can All I check right. telegrams? All right. Check. You can check. He's okay. going to the tailor shop, so we'll just go right. over there when you're done. All right. Tailor shop. I know so many things right now. Oh, no, I'll get off your white bread, mate. You can oh, you can go you. all through. And fourth. Exotic mate. Sorry, one second, guys. Ba, 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 ba.
Alrighty. Okay. Oh, sorry. Were you apologizing to me? Oh, I did not see you. I was apologizing to the other lady. Oh. Okay, I was like, I almost ran into her. Yeah, there were a bunch of people, so I just went. I'm okay. just gonna stay here too. Thank you. I appreciate that. Oh, where did I leave my horse? I think you took Bruno. it in the stable. Did I? Oh no, no, he's over so. here. Oh, he's over there. So, um... So, Lebetti has to talk to me. Today. Yeah, yeah. And, um... She asked me if she was a bad partner. Which uh, was How a hard question for me to answer. Sure. Yeah. Um, well, the answer is hard to summarize, but basically, I think she, the takeaway is um, she's terrified of leaving her room because she doesn't want to get hurt and then lose her chance for Yeah, I had a long talk with her today as well. Okay. Yeah, I guess Clay gave her some kind of ultimatum in that vein, which mm -hmm. yeah, I don't I don't know about that, but again that's she needs to sort that out with him, not everybody else. Right. How'd it turn out, do you think? I mean, I saw she was being mopey a little bit ago. I think it turned out well. It's sad to me, because hers and my conversation went pretty well. <laughs> so, it seems like it's a theme that, you know, people have conversations with her that seem to go fairly well, and then she just starts crying and acting mopey afterward. Mm. Uh, I don't think ours was, like, super good or super bad. Sure, okay. But, um... I think she's just adjusting to the realization that she was wrong. Oh! You're yeah. right. You know what? It's not comfortable for anybody. Yeah. So, you know, she's grappling with, I thought I was invincible, and I'm realizing now I was wrong about that. And she's, I think she's just coming to terms with that. And uh, apparently she grew up being told that she had to be perfect. And so now she's terrified of letting you down and Clay down and everybody down. And, well, uh, all that's going to take yep. is fucking practice. But yep, she's that's just gonna what I have encouraged. To, she's going to have to experiment. I mean, I insisted basically that she go to Gorma. For practice, so. Mm -hmm. Yep. So if she decides not to come, then I guess I won't try anymore. I hope she comes. 
She fucking better. I told her she has to basically. <laughs> like she, I said, you. I'm. I don't think I was very unclear about that. Mm. I made it clear that it's an expectation of mine that that you know you've had a few days to sort through your emotions, and now it's time to go to work because that's what grown ups do. Hmm. I guess we'll have to see. Yep. Yep. And I also made it fucking clear that, you know, it's not the getting hurt that's the problem. It's the disobeying orders or the not listening or the not communicating that's the issue. So if she gets hurt, it's fine as long as she didn't do those other things. I was extremely clear about that. Hmm. I just, I don't know. Sometimes it seems like the takeaways that people want her to have are not the things she actually walks away with. Yeah, I think she's, uh... She's, uh, well, she said herself her, her head is swimming with all the things that people are telling her. And I don't think she meant it as, you know, people should stop telling her things. I yeah, think it's just, just a lot. lot for her. You know, she's growing up. And that's part this of is why up. I never ask for advice. <laughs> or if I do, I ask for from one person. Uh -huh. This, I think that's the most mystifying thing about all this to me is like everybody's going to the people involved are talking to everyone. I don't get that. It's not my style at all. I don't understand it. Because I don't, I don't know. I don't want to be made of all the things that other people have to say. I want to be made of what I think. So what I guess I just don't get that. I think you're a very special person. <laughs> Most people I, care a lot I, about I'm what not. other th people think about them. They're not as confident as you. But but why? But then you're not yourself. Exactly. People will bend over backwards and not be themselves, and it kills them. But uh, they can't help it because they want to please other people. This is incredibly distressing to me. <laughs> yeah, it should be. I really fucking care about her. Yeah. Both of them. I understand that not being enough. Mm -hmm. Well, I told her, and like I'll tell both of us, all we can do is our best. Yeah. And hope things turn out the way we hope. <sighs> maybe she is a bad partner and yeah she just needs to realize it yeah maybe realizing it is the first step to becoming a better one yeah but eventually my answer was currently I don't think you're a bad partner because you seem willing to change and willing to you admit your mistakes and willing to put clay in front of yourself. Just like yeah. you would for you. Painting a blanket term like I'm a bad partner. Just overall sounds like a, the step before copping out. Like mm. you say that so that you can then say, well, I'm just not even going to try then. Right. Yeah, I, I hesitated a lot to answer that question because that... Uh, I feel like she puts a lot of weight on being good or bad. She but, hasn't discovered nuance. No, but I tried to introduce that. I, <laughs> I tried. <laughs> I said, I feel like, uh, you know, you're on this one extreme. Kind of like if you have a, a pendulum. Where you've got, you know, and then it swings to the other. I'll just not go out at all. I'll oh, never leave yeah, my room. Exactly. I'll lock myself in. Exactly. And it's you a know. manipulation tactic that she probably learned when she was a child. Mm. So I said, well, we kind of want it to, you know, swing back and forth until it ends up in the middle. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere in the middle. I do hope she didn't get this idea. She's a bad partner for me. I explained something about men and what men need. And she... Oh. Did she mention that? No, I think it mainly comes from she feels like, um, hmm, the realization that perhaps that she was mistaken 
it, mm-hmm. it's causing her to to realize perhaps that Clay has gotten the short end of the stick a couple of times, and she oh. feels bad about it. Oh, and, that's and rough. But it's also progress. It's progress. It's progress. Uh, but you know, then she goes to the extreme, right? She takes it further, and you know, oh, uh-huh. does he hate that he loves me? You know, that sort of thing. Oh boy. Yeah. So. You know. I said a bunch of things. I don't even remember what I said. She probably doesn't even remember what I said either. <laughs> but I, I think I think at the end we made some progress. You I know? hope so. Yeah. I just, yeah, I hope it just fucking continues. I tried to explain, like, I didn't come at it from Clay's perspective, but just fucking men in general, like, they need to protect. Mm. And... Uh, Rooster and Crosby both emphatically nodded when I repeated the story. <laughs> like they, hey, they need it. Like they, they need to feel. They need to protect the the our physical selves, like f- of their women. Like that's what they need. Mm-hmm. And that if you constantly run away and get out of that circle of protection or outside of his view, so that he can't keep an eye on your physical well being. That reads as disrespect, like, and a lack of love. Like, that that's how they see that. And I, I, it, I'm sure it's fucking painful. Yeah. She said, when I said that, she said, well, what about me when I feel the need to protect him? And I didn't say, then why the fuck are you running away from him? I didn't say that. But I oh. said, <laughs> I said, <laughs> you know, that they... You don't have to. Uh, you can reciprocate it without it being the same. Mm. She said, I've always identified with the hero and not the damsel. And I said, Look at me. Do you think for one second <laughs> I'm a fucking damsel? She goes, I think you would eat a damsel for lunch. <laughs> and I, I said, Maybe. <laughs> but, you know, you can still nurture I guess maybe is the word that protective nature in a fella even if you're fucking strong even if you're a fighter mm-hmm. you fight you just gotta, beside each other exactly you just gotta learn to think about it and I've had to have a conversation with both Crosby and Flood and say Flood before I even agreed to date him I said you would never say to, that to me again because he was like I just don't want you to be in danger and I was like, if you ever treat me like that again, I will, this would never fucking work. <laughs> and he this. never did. Yeah, yeah. I, th- I was pretty sure I told you. And um, Crosby, the conversation wasn't as like s- s- uh, short or pointy, <laughs> but it, he had the same feelings, you know, just like, mm-hmm. I don't want you in the thick of it. And I said, I need you to celebrate me being in the thick of it because that's who I am. Mm-hmm. And if that means that you have to be next to me, that's fine. But you, you cannot ask me to stay out. And you can't make me feel bad if I'm in it. And he's also, you know, embraced that. Mm-hmm. So she could do the same. But I said, you know, I promised both of them, Crosby more, I think, that I will do this wisely. I'll, be, I'll fight in wise ways. I'll make sure there are people around me. And I explained all this to her because it's not, honestly, it's not the running off. It's the lack of communication and not being mm-hmm. able to trust what you're doing because you don't tell anyone. Yeah. It's it's a lack of trust. Mm-hmm. Okay. I feel pretty good then about what I said then. <laughs> good. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I, I, I hope we all get through them eventually. Eventually. I'm proud of Clay. Like, yeah. Maybe he could change the way that he said it, but I also think it's not <laughs> his fault. I think it's the way she's taking things because she always takes them a little bit to the extreme, like you said. Yeah. But he hasn't touched any fucking alcohol, he said, since he left to go sort of shit out. Mm-hmm. And now he's, you know, making sure to state his boundaries clearly. I think that's all very good. Yeah. Oh, they're growing up. My babies. <laughs> Is, um, who's getting a new outfit? I have no idea. 
Crosby wanted to tweak his Gorma outfit. Oh, okay. Who's in the tailor right now? Someone random. Don't know who it is. Uh, oh, it's the baby. Know. She's sitting on the floor in there. Okay. And how are we doing out here? Uh, smoking. I see that. Yeah, I think I'll just wait. But with hey, somebody, somebody here. Are you all right? Oh yeah. I have no mm -hmm. choice. I mean, I, I get dressed. Pretty excited for this gourmet trip. What? Just people keep asking me how I'm doing. I'm getting confused. Do I look like I've got a problem? Uh, I don't think there's anything specific about your facial expression or demeanor, but uh, I think everyone's just concerned with how you're doing because of recent events. All right. That's all. Uh, if I had a problem, I'd, I'd speak up about it. I do appreciate it, though. All righty. What's in strawberry? What was he saying? Oh. oh, sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. He, he literally just said, Whoa, they're prong orbs. Oh. <laughs> oh, he wanted us to stop. I don't know if he wanted us to stop. I think he I was just he cheering was us on. Yeah, I think he was just cheering <laughs> us on. Okay, good. Yeah, I was telling Crosby if I was braver, we would all just pull guns and start shooting on our way out of town. <laughs> like, up in the air. Blah, 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 blah. Prong orbs. <laughs> but you'd be so pissed off. <laughs> it'd be worth it. Oh, snake. Snake scared him right off. Oh, sorry. Oh.
What do you see? Hmm? See anything? I, I thought I saw Fletcher, but uh, it's either the fog or something. I don't see anybody there anymore. He, oh. he was around in Blackwater a while ago, but he was dealing with uh, medical work. He was oh, here okay. in Strawberry right before we left. Yes, I saw that Blake too. Water. Yeah. And I thought I saw him again as we were riding in. Mm. That's alright. He seemed to be in a hurry. Apparently there was a patient in the medical office. Oh, okay. Yep. Boy, medics it's one of those really days. busy lives. Yeah. They do, yeah. Too busy. I've been trying to encourage uh, Birdie to take more breaks. Can you with. imagine how guilty you'd be, though? Like, what if you took a break and somebody died? Like, oof. Yeah, she doesn't have it in her to refuse somebody treatment. She tries to avoid towns. Mm. They are allowed to, though, believe it or not. Avoid towns? No, refuse treatment for somebody. Oh, yeah, oh. they are. Well, I mean, that makes sense. Y'all ready? You ready? Woo! McGregor! Woo! McGregor! Woo! Yeah, yeah, cool. McGregor! Woo! I like my cheer. I did like your cheer. I was going too fast to cheer back. <laughs> and I briefly considered, you know, firing a bunch of shots in the air on the way out to indicate that I had heard you, but then I decided against it. <laughs> that was probably a good decision. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I was like, it would be funny, but he'd also be so pissed it would be worth like, it. like, holy shit, someone's getting <laughs> shot. I got a Pronghorn boys. <laughs> How's your night been? Been all right. You seen Zoe? Uh, hey. I don't know what she's what she's wearing at the moment. I thought I saw her in Blackwater like an hour ago. Yeah, she might have been. Okay, but that's the last time. Yeah, I'm not like worried or nothing. I'm just looking for her. Okay. Yeah, Is she feeling better? Sorry. Last time I saw her, she was injured. I think she's feeling, but I don't think she's injured. Oh, okay. When was the last time you saw her. Uh, well, I was one. I was the field medic helping medic birdie treat her, here in Strawberry. It was a while ago. T not today, do you know? Not today. No, not today. Oh yeah. Oh, well, yeah. She is. She's feeling much better. Thank okay. You. Good. Yeah. Well, well, if we see her, we'll let her know you're looking. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Stay safe. Take care. Chipmunk, it's take <laughs> care. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll do it next time. Good <laughs> riddance. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I thought you were going to say good night. Well, we were mixing, we were mixing them early. Like one day, we were just like mixing things that were wrong. Like good care. <laughs> <laughs> Take night. <laughs> then I thought good riddance would be funny. Well, speaking of good riddance, I'm gonna have to lay my head down. Don't you dare! What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> good night, then, madam. Hey, good, good riddance. <laughs> good night, Jim. Good, good night. Good night, y'all. <laughs> Did it again. Wrong arm, produce. Good care. <laughs> okay, let's go raid. I'll raid Orkish this time. All right. See you tomorrow for the Gwarma.